Man, I know this is take two, but whatever. Reporting live from the hospital district in downtown Toronto, it's live from last week, episode 57. Let's go! Woo! Oh, oh, cold, cold, cold. <laughs> Welcome me, my fellow Jaywalkers to another episode of Laugh Home Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So after waking up hella early this morning to drive the wife to work for her day shift today, I'm back here downtown on the day after the Toronto snowstorm with the mini to pick her up after her day shift. Before I tell you about my experience with the snowstorm yesterday evening, we're just gonna head back indoors because to be honest, it's a little bit chilly outside. So yesterday, after spending the whole day at Blue Mountain, while driving on the 400, we saw some of the most beautiful views in the skies close to sunset time. But after seeing those blissful scenes, we got back into the GTA and saw the aftermath of the snowstorm from yesterday. Seeing things that we never think we would see while driving in Toronto. And while looking at the map of the 401 and DVP being closed, we witnessed things like snowed in TTC buses, pedestrians walking in the middle and on the sides of the street because the sidewalks weren't cleared, plus many of the TTC buses, because of the weather, just weren't running. There were several abandoned cars on the side of the street, mounds of snow just as tall as the other cars in front of us, full-size cars covered and disappearing under the thick layers of snow, driving behind several large snowplow trucks, and this attempt of trying to drive the Mini up a hill without getting stuck in the snow. Let's go Mini! Yeah, let's go! Make it up this hill! Woo, make it up this hill! But alas, our luck ran out just outside our condo. Man, we made it all this way without getting stuck. And now look, the wife is trying to shovel us out in order to get into our parking garage just in front of our parking gate. Go wife, go, go wife, go, go wife, go. And thanks to our hard work and dedication, we were able to get unstuck, go through the gate and rest up at the condo for the night. And now on to this morning, after dropping the wife off to work, I went for an asymptomatic COVID swab test and if you're asking, the test was uncomfortable but necessary and looked just like this from my point of view. But yeah, in order to make my appointment earlier this morning, I first had to find a side street parking spot for my Mini. So guys, I don't know if you can see this morning, but there are absolutely no side street parking spots available. So you know what I think I'll do? I think I'll make my own. And y'all remember this scene from last week's episode? The wife and I made our way to a local Walmart and bought some emergency supplies, AKA a brand new shovel. Well, that's exactly what I used this morning. Woo! It looks like it's time to use my trusty $12 shovel from Walmart. And there you have it guys, with my trusty $12 Walmart shovel, we have dug and made our own parking spot. All right. And after my appointment, I drove around a little bit, taking note of the morning after aftermath of yesterday's snowstorm. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up all the stories that I have for you guys today. And I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. So this morning, after dropping off the wife at work, then, driving through the Riverdale area, checking out all the cars that are still stuck on the side streets. And, after spending half an hour trying to shovel out a new parking spot for myself and the Mini, I am now here at the beautiful scenic Riverdale Park, 
And guess what I brought with me? That's right, the snowboard. So we're gonna try this out and go on a couple of runs. So after having a trial of snowboarding over at Riverdale Park and going home to edit some live from last week footage with a particular interest in the snowboarding video that I was editing, I had a sense of FOMO, AKA fear of missing out. So although I upset the wife last night, driving around trying to find the cheapest gas until the gas meter almost ran out, shame if the car stopped right now at the intersection. Ooh, we made it guys. Are you stressed? I think she's stressed. We made it! Today, I'm afraid I'll be making the wife a little bit upset again since I'm at a local Walmart and I'm out and about while she's at work. So before I pick her up from her day shift today, I'll just reveal to you guys where I actually am. I'm back over here at the Blue Mountain Ski Resort for the next couple of hours to do a couple of runs of snowboarding before I pick up the wife from work. Thanks to you too. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Great to ride with you, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for too. yeah. Thanks for coming out with me on the hills. Awesome. Otherwise, I'd be alone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Happiness loves company. Yeah, man. So once again, I just wanted to throw a quick shout out to Rose, who, when I was kind of iffy about going to Blue Mountain today, said that she would be there and convinced me to go. And as a plus, I learned something about myself today: that I would drive two and a half hours to Blue Mountain snowboard for only two hours, then drive another two and a half hours back home. Now, before we wrap it up for the night and before the wife finds out anything that I did today, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys. One is to one of my beach volleyball slash indoor volleyball friends who always makes games with her entertaining. This one's to you, Yukari. Happy birthday, Yukari. O tanjobi omedoto gozaimasu. And the next birthday greeting is for my Tita Ping. Happy birthday, Tita Ping. I'm hoping that both of you are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and I'm hoping that you guys had great birthdays this year. 
So guys, today I'm planning for a chill and relaxing day. Mainly because later on, I'll be going in for my first of my scheduled four night shifts in a row. With a crazy schedule where I'm actually doing seven night shifts in the span of nine days. So what I did to keep my mind off of work before I get stressed for the next week or so, the wife and I caught some more episodes of The Amazing Race and actually finished the season that we were watching by watching the finale. I also got to making some smoothies for us to enjoy, doing all that while editing the live from last week episode that is set to come out tomorrow morning. And got our feast on with this beautiful charcuterie board that we had for lunch. But before I go in for night shift tonight, just gonna drive the wife to get a massage, a well-deserved one. And yeah, I guess I'll just catch you guys again tomorrow morning after I finish my night shift. So this morning, post night shift, it was actually pretty frigid. I mean, even my dashboard was telling me it was still cold out. It felt like negative 28 degrees outside. But to keep my mind off the cold morning commute, I remember that I ordered something from Amazon a couple of days ago. And guess what? When I got home from shift this morning, I found a lovely package back at my condo. So obviously, in all my excitement, I just had to open it. But yeah guys, I'm pretty excited to use these babies with my GoPro out on the snowboarding hills in a couple of weeks when I actually have some days off. And if you guys are interested, I might do a little review video of those batteries sometime in the near future. But yeah, speaking of buying new things, technology, and reviews, one of our fellow Jaywalker POV viewers, Eduave, posted a comment on my Live From Last Week video from last week, asking if I could do a review on my new Dyson air purifier. So here's a short little review for you guys. To be honest guys, this thing really blows. As opposed to a vacuum, which you guys know, sucks. Just kidding guys. All jokes aside, here's a quick 10 to 20 second review of my experience with it so far. This baby has done everything that I could ask for it and more. I mean like it has air purifying features, it has humidifying features to help reduce the static in the condo, and also acts like an air conditioner. And yeah, there's all these different features that I haven't even touched. And it's pretty much been the wife that has been controlling the climate of the condo since we got the fan last week. One day, hopefully, I'll be giving you a proper review of this Dyson air purifier. But for now, before I go in for my second of my four night shifts tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting with one of my former classmates back at Ryerson, who, every so often, I would practice my Spanish with. So this one goes out to you, Jania. Happy birthday and feliz cumpleaños, Jania. Next, this one goes out to another Ryerson friend of mine, who I'd see every so often at YSIC and FCAR events, and who also helped me learn a little bit of martial arts back when I was a student. This one goes out to you, Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. Next, we've got a birthday greeting to one of my FSAT friends, who we went bowling with at Bolarama back when I was a student. And this one goes out to you, Isabel. Happy birthday, Isabel. Last but not least, we have a birthday greeting to one of my SMIOA friends, who I made when I was visiting Chicago several years back. And if I live closer, I would be down to hang out with you whenever you throw those Facebook invites. Anyways, this birthday greeting goes out to you, Fredell. Happy birthday, Fredell. For all y'all that have your birthdays today, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and I'm hoping that you guys had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. So after a relatively busy night shift last night, the wife and I got home, took a quick nap, and while I was editing videos for this week's episode of Live From Last Week, since we are always thinking about travel and wanderlusting, once again, we continued watching more episodes of The Amazing Race. But yeah, before I go on for my third of my set of four night shifts tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for a couple of my friends that I met in university through FSAT. So, I just want to take this time to wish a happy birthday to Stefan and a happy birthday to Henry. I'm hoping that you guys are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you guys had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. So before we get started for today, just want to let you guys know it's January 23rd. Meaning, on the calendar, it's 0123. AKA, happy 123 day, guys. But yeah, moving on. While editing some live from last week footage, the wife and I continued watching our marathon of The Amazing Race and watched the finale completing yet another season 
of that show. And yeah, guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm excited. Mainly because tonight, I'm going in for my fourth of my four night shifts. So once again, I'm going to celebrate by singing one of my favorite songs. And since I only have one more night shift until I have a day off tomorrow, you guys can sing it with me. I've got one more night. And speaking of dancing celebrations, a couple of days ago, I saw a video of somebody that was very motivating, dancing Zumba live from his home. And that person of inspiration was my pops, Tito Eddie. I mean, he was going all out, showing off his dance moves and being physically fit. So what did I do? I tried to emulate him by doing his very same dance moves. He was also wearing a pretty cool shirt with a picture of some food on it. So just like my idol, I tried to pull off some dance moves while having food on my shirt as well. But yeah, Tito Eddie, keep up the good Zumba work and keep on doing what you're doing, being a physical inspiration for others to keep healthy and motivated at this time. And yeah, guys, before I go in for my night shift tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, this birthday greeting goes out to one of our beach volleyball friends out there, Reza. Happy birthday, Reza. Next, we've got a birthday greeting for one of my Wysik friends back when we were both living in downtown Toronto. And this one goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. Bon fete. And last but not least, we've got a birthday greeting to one of my wife's former roommates, who she used to reside with back when she was living at River Street. This one goes out to you, Jessen. Happy birthday, Jessen. I'm hoping that all my birthday celebrants that are celebrating today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had great birthday celebrations this year. What's up guys? I'm finally done my four night shifts in a row. And I've made it, so I finally have my one day off. So what did the wife and I do this morning after our night shift is that we got some breakfast to go at a local Egg Smart that we frequent and we celebrated with this delicious meal at home. But yeah, you guys remember this scene from a couple of weeks ago? I'm over here at a local Scarborough Domino's because the wife is craving a little bit of pizza today. Well, I'm back here in the area of Cliffside in a plaza because we're going to get some pizza because it's Pizza Mondays and it's half off at Domino's. And yeah, I remember around that time, I jumped in and bought some stocks for the first time in a long time. Buying Airbnb for a discount price of 150 But this morning, I don't know if you can tell, but the stock market has been red for the past month ever since I bought those stocks. Pretty much meaning that every time I buy a stock, the stock just plummets. But yeah, if you guys are losing money in the stock market recently, just know that I am too losing a lot of money in the stock market, so you're not alone. But earlier today, to get my mind off things, I was able to have a nice video chat with the family, saying hi to them and joking around with them, helping me get my mind off all the stresses that I'm having in my life. I even got to show the family my new fireplace that I just got installed in the condo. AKA the TV fireplace channel that's shown on YouTube. And a quick story going back to last week when I ran low on the gas in my mini. Guess who did it yet again? I got two kilometers on the gas meter. I'm just hoping I can find another gas station soon in the snowy weather. A traffic weather advisory is in effect. Look at these conditions. Somebody crossing the road. All right, luckily, there's the gas station. Woo! Guys, I gotta really stop doing these buzzer beater, low gas, in the engine kind of situations. I wonder if I'll ever learn. But yeah, guys, before I actually go and pick up my pizza, I'm gonna sign off for the week right now. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.